Happy early Thanksgiving. How's everybody doing? Good. Well, we are going to start in our worship to the Lord. This service is going to be focused on Thanksgiving. And we have uh, time later. If you want to share something that you're thankful for that God's done in your life, that's going to come later in the service. So something to think about as you worship him. But I'm going to invite you to stand with us. And I'm going to read from Psalm 92. Psalm 92, 1 through 4. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name almost high, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten-string lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. God, we are thankful for who you are, and we are thankful for everything that you are doing in our lives. We are a grateful people, and you have touched us deeply this year. And so we lift up these songs today because you are worthy. Please inhabit the praises of our, our inhabit our praises today in Jesus' name. Amen.
Yes, it is. It is always a good time. We kind of get a workout in that one, don't we, folks? <laughs> I'm, I'm earning my lunch over here after practicing that one. Um, Isaiah 41.10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Has God been holding you this year? Has it been an easy year? No. But is he with us? Yeah. That's the promise. Even though I walk. Here we go. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Your perfect love is casting out fears. And even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life.
we thank you that you have not let go of us and that you are faithful. We struggle in this world has a lot of struggles, but you have been so faithful to us as a church family this year, and you just hang on to us in it, God, and I'm so grateful for that. Psalm 104 and 5 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Thank you.
one more song here, and this is one around the time the stay-at-home order happened. Um, Harlow and Dan and I got together here, and we recorded this song, and then I think we put it on the internet. I don't know. The last eight months have kind of done some things to my brain, <laughs> but it's called Waymaker, and I think that this song has kind of been a rock for us as a body this year, and as we worship, I think we talk to God in our worship, but I also think we do it as a church family. And I just want to say I'm proud of you for continuing to show up and continuing to say, God, you are the way maker, because it's been a hard year, right? But I think that we bonded in it, and it doesn't make the hard stuff um, go away, but there's strength in coming together in the hard times and for sure worshiping God. And that is such a comfort to me. I've struggled a lot this year, but worship has really helped me um, a lot. So this is from Psalm 77, 10 through 14. I love these verses. It says, Then I thought, to this I will appeal. To the years when the Most High stretched out his right hand, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on your mighty deeds. It's about who he is and what he has done and will do. Verse 13, your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. And when we go through hard things and yet we pause and we worship him and we say, your ways, God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? We know the answer, don't we? No one. And he's with us in it. So we're going to worship and sing this song together. It says, you are moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here right now working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. It's what we are made to do. And so we're going to do it together. Amen. Thank you. 
never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop. person here. You made us and you created us. And you are with us. And God, I just pray for um, every heart, Lord. You know what we're facing, what we're feeling, what we're not feeling. Um, You know us, God, and you meet us right there. And so I just pray a special blessing and a special touch from you today, Lord. You're so faithful to do that. In your name, amen. Amen. You may be seated. Um, just looking around here, I don't think there's too many that don't know me. I'm Jill Whitnabel, and um, every month, um, board members take the time, the opportunity to share the announcements, and this is my turn to do that. Um, and the reason we want to do this is just to make sure that we're communicating with you what's going on with the board and um, to be receptive to you and, and your needs. Um, Right now I'm serving as the church clerk, and back in the day when we became a church, that was my role, so kind of come full circle here. Um, The minute, uh, what I do, um, pretty obvious, I take the minutes for the board and the church meetings, and these are posted, but we don't typically send them out or put them in mailboxes, but you certainly can request them from our real secretary, Joni, if you want them. Um, Just wanted to give you an update about our last board meeting. Um, After the reopening last May 31st, our online viewership went down or dwindled. And we came to a decision that investing thousands of money, thousands of dollars into um, creating a live stream maybe wasn't the best use of our funds. Um, We had recently received some money for... um, updates in our technology, but instead we're going to use those dollars to purchase a new backlight video screen. So, um, and you know, um, we're going to replace this one and our projector, and you know, sometimes we've had issues with um, being able to see that, so this will make it much easier to see. And then also, um, we're going to get a screen that's going to be hung in the back so that Um, Those that are leading the service and pastor will be able to see what the congregation is without wrenching their neck back. Um, So, and then just one other thing, we just really like you. If you have any questions or concerns or any ideas, um, please feel free to approach approach a board member or pastor. 
with those things. Um, first, first person communication is always best and we really encourage you to do that. Um, just a couple other things um, before I get into the announcements that are in the bulletin. Um, we have some, we've had some recent substantial needs in our congregation lately and our benevolence fund is, is running dry and so if you are able to give to that we'd appreciate that. And next Sunday there will be no Sunday school. And if you want to just turn in your bulletins, uh, highlight a few things that the new daily breads are available in the spindle. And we've wrapped up the fall quarter for small groups, but we'll be having a sign up um, soon and the winter quarter um, begins January 10th. Um, there'll be no kids programs this Wednesday due to the Thanksgiving holiday and Christmas caroling was canceled due to COVID-19. So um, I guess that's all I have, but the Andersons have a couple things. Again, this year we are going to sponsor Christmas meal boxes um, in conjunction with the Lackawanna County Family Services. So they they um, determine 30 families who would benefit from a Christmas meal in a box, and we provide the boxes and the food. Um, the last few years we've done 30 boxes and I'd like to shoot for that again um, this year. So your part in that is to look at this sign-up sheet. Um, you can get instant mashed potatoes, stuffing mix, um, French style green beans, cream and mushroom soup, the French onion things to put on the green beans or a turkey packet or a, a gravy packet, a turkey packet, yeah. And, or you can just give lots of money um, other years we have we have done 30 meal boxes that would be the turkey and all and pie and all the things for a meal but then with the extra funds that were given we were able to buy um, hamburger and spaghetti sauce and um, spaghetti noodles so we had a little more to pad the box with some um, some years we've given a gallon of milk um, so whatever monies are turned in are used for that um, project and the more you give, the more we can give to those. And this year, for sure, with COVID, there are a lot of people who are in need. So start bringing your items. We'll finish up on Sunday, um, December 20th, and then on the 21st and 22nd, we'll be getting the meals up to family service. They're going to be delivering them to people this year. So appreciate your help on that. People have been very generous in the past, and I hope that you will this year, too. Thank you. All right. Now, this is your opportunity to serve. This is the Meals on Wheels calendar. And so every December, for those of you that weren't here last week, we uh, volunteer to go and deliver meals to a few families in, around the community. Most of the time it's like widows but, uh, or single guys, but bachelors they call them. Anyway, uh, so... Uh, so we've, we're doing pretty good. We've got, you know, there's a whole bunch of Fridays that are open and there's, a f you know, a few down there toward the last half of the month. The first half of the month is pretty well covered except for those Fridays. But, uh, you know, you can choose one day, but I would recommend taking at least two because the second day you feel so good about yourself because you know where you're going. It's kind of a esteem, you know, self-esteem builder. But anyway, not, but you can just do one and just be confused for the whole day. That's fine. That's fine with me. And if you do that, that would be awesome. You know, we can't pass it around like we usually do because that's not right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Nice put this someplace where you'll be sure to see it. Where I'd like to do is I'd like to lay it on the floor in front of the door. <laughs> but I don't know that for sure the first one that finds it will grab it and leave it someplace else. So I don't know where we can leave it where you can find it. I'm not sure, but this is the honor system. We're going to put it on the baptistry thing. You know that table over by the... They'll never see it there. Oh, by the hand sanitizer. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So it's going to be by the hand sanitizer. And I oh, just I need a few more sign-ups. Be really close to this. <laughs> yeah, I'll be really close to that one. It's awesome. Thank you very much, honey. Thank you. Got it? Okay, got it. Okay, I'll put a pen there and everything. You might want to, you know, sanitize that a little bit. Anyway, this is a chance for you to do something nice for somebody. You won't believe the good feelings you get after you do this. Because you're kind of scared. You don't know you've never done it before. Maybe and you're nervous, but these people are so grateful that you are taking time to do this, and it's a great ministry, and you think you're doing it for the Lord, and you are, 
But it's also good for you. It's good for us to serve because we are created to serve other people. So thank you for doing that. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good to see you guys all here today. Beautiful morning. Thanks, Jill and Nice and Harlow, worship team for good worship as always. And uh, uh, yeah, online watchers, hello to you all sitting on your couches and uh, watching that or at your desks. Thanks for being with us today. Bit of an unusual service today. Uh, if you've been following your email, uh, getting the church emails, you already know that we, um, well, we had planned at 5 p.m. tonight to do our annual pie and praise event where, of course, we eat pie, which is awesome. And uh, then we also have a sharing time that ties in with the Thanksgiving holiday. So it, we give, uh, you know, spend time just each of us kind of sharing uh, what we're thankful to God for from this past year. And uh, uh, it's always a, a great time. However, uh, Governor Walz's most recent uh, virus-related order here does allow worship services to continue. And um, in my mind, pie and praise is a worship service. However, uh, the new order restricts on-site consumption of food and bever- food or beverages at churches, similar to how restaurants have been uh, closed down right now. So the biblical principle we're trying to follow at Calvary throughout this whole pandemic um, season is submission to the human authority unless the authority would ask us to do something that contradicts God's law. And, uh, and, you know, I had a little joke in there about, in my email, about how a command not to eat sin might be, or a command not to eat pie might be a sin, but that's not truly in the Ten Commandments or in the Bible anywhere. So um, we decided that pie and praise probably doesn't make sense uh, given, that, given that order. And... Uh, so we canceled our event for tonight, but we're going to move the activities other than the pie to this morning. We're going to do our sharing time here in a little while. And, um, and then I have just a real brief, rather than a normal sermon, I've got just a real brief Thanksgiving devotional for you at the end of the service today. Uh, so that, uh, rather than a sermon, we'll have some time for sharing. So be thinking as we go along here about what you might want to share and uh, We'll try to get to everybody, although we'll have to watch the time, too, a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's always a great time to share together as church family uh, uh, on uh, what we're thanking God for. Well, before I get us started on our Thanksgiving theme for the morning, and, of course, worship team has already done that, but um, I just want to just real briefly offer a quick prayer for a couple of items that have come up this week in our church family. And so, uh, actually, if you'd... Uh, Pray with me now. Lord, our focus is on thanksgiving and on thanking you today, but, um, and so we're, we're not going to go through our uh, normal calling out to you of, of the, of the needs that we have. And of course there are many as they always are in a broken world. Uh, But two new things that have come up this week that we want uh, to uh, share our hearts with you about. One is uh, niece, Anderson's mom, Lila, as she, you know, she's been coming out of uh, COVID-19 and, and recovering fairly well, um, but uh, she fell here a couple of days ago and cracked her head, uh, actually cracked her skull, um, and so we're uh, grateful that there was no brain bleeding. She actually doesn't have headaches, which is a, a big blessing, but she's experienced some nausea. Um, which is uh, pretty normal for concussions. And, uh, you know, and then just um, knocked off kilter a little bit from that. Plus, she'd been low energy already from, from COVID-19. So, so, Lord, we pray for Lila this morning, and, and uh, we're grateful that this fall wasn't worse. Um, but uh, pray that you uh, would heal her up quickly, give her energy, um, help that nausea to, to pass quickly. Uh, I know... She's not feeling like eating, and she needs to eat. So, um, Lord, just uh, pray a blessing over uh, Lila this morning. Our hearts go out to her. And then also we want to lift up uh, Linda Ribke's uh, sister, Patty, in Vermont, who had this uh, TIA or or mini-stroke, and um, just the concerns. She's got weakness in her in one side and is going to have to go through physical therapy, but uh, often these are followed up with uh, more major strokes. And so we're just praying over Patty today that that would not happen and that you would uh, bring her back to full health as well. 
So these are just a couple things we want to raise to your attention here and um, uh, ask you to, to heal. Uh, Lord, for you are all-powerful and you are the great physician. We pray this in the great name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I will direct your attention now to the video screen. Yes, this year. Especially this year. This year, more than ever. Not because it wasn't so bad. Not because next year will be better. Not because some good things happened. Not even just because God says so. Rejoice in the Lord, you people of the Lord, because Christ is Lord. This is the year of the Lord's favor. This is the year of God's grace, again. We are still the redeemed, still ransomed by the blood, still furiously convinced, especially this year, that neither life, nor death, nor pandemic, nor lockdown, nor masks, nor isolation, nor anything else in all of creation can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We will give thanks this year, not in spite of what was lost, but because of what cannot be. We'll rejoice in the Lord because we are the people of the Lord. Let's do more than count our blessings. Let's count ourselves among the blessed I'll say it again. Rejoice. Would you bow your heads with me, please? Rejoice in the Lord, you people of the Lord, because Christ is the Lord. This is the year of the Lord's favor. This is the year of God's grace again. We are still the redeemed, ransomed people of God, and nothing can separate us from the love of God. We will give thanks even in the midst of loss because of what cannot be lost. Let's do more than count our blessings. Let's count ourselves among the blessed. I'll say it again. Rejoice! Father God, every day that we have breath in our lungs is a celebration of you. You know, the the sun uh, full of uh, fire and life crosses the sky every single day. The finches and the blue jays in our backyard (laughs) sing and search for food. All your creatures perform throughout the day as you've programmed them to do so. Beauty uh, is all around us. We put our hands to uh, the work that we have uh, for each day, building and organizing and helping, uh, creating just as you are a creator. And we, uh, we come together and we enjoy laughter together and story. And hopefully uh, we take time each day to think of you and to talk to you and to learn more about you. And, and so often our hearts leap within us when we do that. So each day that we have breath in our lungs, Lord God, is a celebration of you. There are things that would take away the breath in our lungs, like viruses and other things, but that doesn't change the fact. Each day we have is a gift. Each day is a celebration. Plus, you have promised a restored breath once we lose this one uh, out of your mercy for repentant sinners, which makes this year and every year the, the year of Lord's, the Lord's favor upon us, the year of your grace upon us, and we thank you, Lord. Lord God, the definition of glory is great beauty and splendor, something that is magnificent. And when we glorify something, we speak out calling that thing magnificent, We glorify it. And so on this week of Thanksgiving, we here today want to speak out saying that you are magnificent, mighty God. We shout to all who hear that you are worthy of praise Mm -hmm. and honor and love, O God of love and mercy. Sing out to you now that you are glorious. We glorify your name, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We thank you for your gifts to us and for your greatness. Would you all please stand with me and sing the glory.
Thank you, everyone. You may be seated. We glorify you, Lord God. Thank you. Well, before we dismiss our kids, Naomi has something she wants to say here. (laughs) When I got here, I heard that the kids are going to be dismissed for Super Church, which makes only sense, but... Um, because I know it's long to sit through all of our wonderful Thanksgiving comments. But I just wanted to, um, as part of our pie and praise, we were also going to do pastor appreciation, which includes his family. And um, we wanted to remember that Maya and Greta are part of our our ministry team here as well, as Anna and Eric. Mm -hmm. And so um, as a little kid... When Dad's here until when I drive into town at 8, 9 o'clock, and Dad's still here at the church, and on Saturdays we're here for praise team, and Dad's here at the church, and um, I live across the street from them, and I know that Dad's here at church a lot, and um, as a little kid, it's hard to share your daddy with all of us, and um, those sweethearts are, I get to see them at um, Super Church, I get to see them at Wednesday Warriors, And you know what? They always have smiles on their faces, and they're always happy to help, and they're always happy to be, they're kind to the people, um, their their classmates, and the people that are there with them. And I just wanted to say how grateful I am, and how grateful we all are, Maya and Greta, that you are part of our church family, and we love you very much. (laughs) And you know, it wouldn't be much of of a thing from only unless you get a book. And so I have um, a couple of books for each of you. And I know that Fancy Nancy is kind of a friend at their house. So Mm -hmm. there's Fancy Nancy book for each of you and then another book for each of you. And I just would like, if you would stay here with me for a second, Um, I'd like to read a couple of verses that came to mind um, when I was thinking of you. And um, a little quick little prayer. So I'd like you to remember, girls, to be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or terrified, for the Lord goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. That's from the Bible from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. And I also want you to remember Ephesians 2.10. We are God's handiwork, created in Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And so if you remember those things, You'll be strong and brave, and I hope that you will enjoy the books that I shared with you. Let's all pray just real quick. Dear Lord, we come before you this morning, thanking you for the wonderful blessing that Maya and Greta are. We ask that you would bless them all the days of their lives, and that they would know and love uh, you, and that they would know how loved and uniquely special they are. May they remember to be brave because you are always by their side that you strengthen them in spirit and physical abilities as they grow. May they be kind to others and expect nothing in return, but always knowing that your love surrounds them. Grant them health and blessing through this year. Bless their family and their parents. You have every day of their lives written in your book. Thank you for allowing us to be part of their lives. We ask that you would be, uh, that your will would be done in their life now and always. In Jesus' name. We pray, amen. Amen. Naomi, that's so nice. Thank you. Our girls couldn't have a better church family to grow up with. Okay, so now we are going to dismiss kids for Super Church and Nursery. Once again, Super Church is for ages 4 through 4th grade. And Nursery's under that. I'm not going to say more than that about that, Naomi, because you got me on the edge emotionally (laughs) already. Okay. Uh, Our sharing time at Pine Praise the last few years has been really special, and the setting is a little bit different here, of course, but I think we're going to be able to to duplicate um, the spirit we've had in our evening gatherings, so um, we are going to move into that now, and uh, I'll just give you a couple quick directions. Uh, First, we're going to turn the camera off, so goodbye. I'm going to skip 
the things I was going to say about what I'm thankful for, but I'll, I'll do it next week. But a lot of it was uh, being thankful for you and just the recognition that uh, the, the tasks of a church go way beyond the pastor. And um, we couldn't, well, we couldn't do this without each other, right? And, uh, but um, we are so blessed to be pastor and pastor's wife here. And uh, you guys are always so amazingly kind to us. So thank you. Awesome. I, I did, uh, we're going to go just a little bit long today. I do want to, I just have a, I think three minutes of things I want to say and then we'll do a ham and we'll, we'll finish off. Um, before I give those words, I'd like to look at that video one last time, that, that short video we watched before. Let's just get that back in our heads here. Yes, this year. Especially this year. This year, more than ever. Not because it wasn't so bad. Not because next year will be better. Not because some good things happened. Not even just because God says so. Rejoice in the Lord, you people of the Lord, because Christ is Lord. This is the year of the Lord's favor. This is the year of God's grace, again. We are still the redeemed, still ransomed by the blood, still furiously convinced, especially this year, that neither life, nor death, nor pandemic, nor lockdown, nor masks, nor isolation, nor anything else in all of creation can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We will give thanks this year, not in spite of what was lost, but because of what cannot be. We'll rejoice in the Lord because we are the people of the Lord. Let's do more than count our blessings. Let's count ourselves among the blessed. I'll say it again. Rejoice. So the year 2020 has been a tough one, and it looks like the closing months of this year are maybe going to be the, the worst part of it. Um, but yeah, we've heard today that there's still, throughout all of that, there still is a lot of reason uh, for thankfulness. And uh, yeah, let's be a thankful people. Let's be people who consciously choose to look at uh, the good that's going on. I, I, don't you think, I've always thought this is interesting about humanity, that uh, we, our natural inclination is to spend time thinking about all the things that aren't right rather than things that, that are, um, right? Don't we, if we think about the things that are broken instead of all the things that are working? You could have a, a hundred really good conversations in your day, but the one that is bad is the one that you'll put all your energy into at the end of the day, right? I might have abundant clothing and shelter and food in my life, but it'll be the things that I wish I had that I'll dwell on. That's just, it's a, our natural bent for some reason. We fixate on the bad even though What's good in our lives might overwhelmingly outweigh what's bad. So let's try to flip that. I think the Bible would have us flip that and to concentrate instead on God's blessings. And and that's really what we've done here this morning. And uh, I'm kind of glad the Thanksgiving holiday comes up and reminds us uh, to focus in on, on that value of choosing gratitude. So yeah, that, that little video said it right. Even though a virus is raging in our world right now, Jesus still loved us enough to die for us on the cross. Praise the Lord for that. Even though Republicans and Democrats seem to be living in two completely different realities right now, even though they're at each other's throats over everything, including who should be president, Jesus is still king. And actually, there aren't any lawsuits going on about that one. Human beings may make all kinds of unethical choices and try out all kinds of unethical strategies to get what they want, but it's God's law that stands in the end. So give thanks for that. All will be made right. Virus has knocked us out of our routines, but Christ followers, we are still the people of God, thanks to his mercy. We may have been separated from being able to interact freely in our communities, We might be separated from our families this Thanksgiving and Christmas. 
We may even end up being separated from our livelihoods, but nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's the provider when other sources of provision dry up. He is stable when all else is not. So let's not fixate on the bad. Let's focus our eyes in on all that is good. We could even lose our lives in the days ahead. But as the video said, today we thank God for what we cannot lose. We are blessed. Rejoice in the Lord always. Thou burning sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam, oh, praise him. Thou rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, alleluia. Thou flowing water pure and clear, make music for thy Lord to hear, rejoice. Thou fire so masterful and bright that givest man both warmth and light, oh, praise him, oh, praise him, alleluia. Give thanks to him who placed the earth among the waters. Give thanks to him who made the heavenly heights, the sun to rule the day, the moon and stars to rule the night. Give thanks to him for his faithful love endures forever. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship him with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs and know that he is God. People of Calvary, people of God, rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Will you stand? We'll sing number uh, 61 in your hymnals. This is a favorite hymn of Anna's that she's uh, chosen for us today. All creatures of our God and King, we give him praise and thanks. at the back as you leave uh, so we don't have to pass them in this virus era and of course
course, as always, you're welcome to give online on our website or mail in your donations. And we thank you again for your, your giving. And now, to him who loves us and who has freed us from our sins by his blood and who has made us to be a kingdom, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for being here.